You know, I've been reading recently that it's important to have a thrilling and action-packed start to your video, so... Hmm. I'll be showing you this magic wobbler of a scout rifle featuring this wonderful perk that is basically Desperado and results in a lot of fun gameplay and shenanigans. For those of you wanting to just know what it is, it's Cascade Point. It's specifically on the new scout rifle that came out of Guardian Games, the Taraxipos. The Tarak... Tarakipos? The T-Rex. And Cascade Point makes the rounds per minute with this wobbler 260 instead of 200, making the brief window you get with it very fun and rewarding, incredibly powerful, challenging to get working, it's sensational. But if you're here for the first 30 seconds just to hear what I have to say, then there you go. Have a nice day, thanks for the shards. But if you're here to stay with me and hear me out and just look at the gameplay I have for your face, wonderful, hi. Guardian Games is out, yay! Titans win, or Warlocks in the eyes of Bungie. And along with it comes the reissued of the title SMG, and also the new scout rifle, the Taraxipos, or the T-Rex, I don't care what you call it. The Baja Blast looking ass. It has the element of strand. The rolls are pretty decent, especially the very first one you get immediately when you start the event, and it feels nice to use in PvP and PvE. Wonderful. But here's the thing. I'm a dumbass. I like dumb stuff. And the first thing I noticed with this when the perk pool was released, Cascade Point. Now that's funny. I just want to give a little disclaimer. Of course, I'm not the one who invented Cascade Point or the one who pointed it out. I understand. So don't you worry, Benjamin from Oregon. It's fine. Calm your Oakleys. I'm sure there's already been like 100 other people making videos on this. Now, if you don't know Cascade Point, final blows or sustained precision hits with another weapon increase this weapon's rate of fire for a short duration. So basically, get a kill or precision hits with another weapon, and you can switch to the weapon with Cascade Point and enjoy a faster rate of fire. And the faster rate of fire lasts for 2.5 seconds, which is not a lot. And also specifically with scout rifles, I believe it increases it by 20% or it might be 17.5. Here's an example of what it sounds like without Cascade Point. And then with Cascade Point, it's sensational writing from me, I know. Are you witnessing this? Look at that speed. Or look at that or hear it. Hear the speed. It sounds ridiculous. The game can't keep up. And so I thought, what would be the best thing to pair with this object? So the following gameplay you are seeing is me running around with this Taraxipos with Cascade Point and also using a secondary weapon of the title, which is the first roll you get, by the way, of the title, which is pretty much perfect. Because, of course, the main thing you need here is a decent weapon to get kills with and then switch to the scout rifle. But at first, I thought maybe a fusion rifle or a sidearm or something. Maybe a shotgun, something more close range. And then I thought, why don't I just use two scout rifles? You know, I was basically using a bunch of things to try and pair with it. I was trying it on stream. It wasn't going too well, to be perfectly honest. And by the way, follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Okay, thanks. I ended up just going with the title SMG anyway. The case isn't that you get a kill and have to immediately switch to the scout rifle or whatever weapon has cascade point. The two and a half second timer starts when you ready the weapon with cascade point. And there is a timer between getting a kill. So if you get a kill, you have five seconds to stow that buff. So basically, I spent the whole of yesterday running around with an SMG, getting a kill, waiting for about three to four seconds to see if there's anyone in the long range or short that I could spot and then switch to my scout rifle and then just pow, 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 shoot to the face. So unless there is some sort of insane weapon that makes this so much easier to use with this scout rifle, I mean, if there is, let me know. And you'll see by the clips you're looking at that it's not the most successful thing ever. I don't go on like we ran streaks of all sorts. I don't just have insane sprees where I kill six, seven, eight people. It's really just killing one person, switching to the scout rifle, getting one to two kills. But the thing is, you can switch back and forth non-stop and especially in supremacy which by the way bangs well done bungie for once you've made a game mode that has matchmaking that is socially acceptable for most people wonderful unless you're a titan in which case you're probably getting destroyed but hey slight tangent by the way when you go to evil avante and you pick up bounties so if you're just going to go for supremacy i was initially picking up the regular gold medal bounty and just go into supremacy game mode a match or two will complete and then it'll complete i'll go back to the tower and rinse and repeat i'll just get gold medals non-stop until about four hours into my stream the other day which by the way follow me the viewer pointed out that the trolls you see that trolls bounty thing there the trolls one yeah that counts for supremacy too i'm stupid apparently that was the thing last year too I've completely forgotten. It's been a year, okay? So the whole time of me getting gold medals, I could have been getting platinum ones. Very stupid on my hand, but you know what? It's fine. And by the way, if you're not a great PvP person, that literally doesn't matter. Pick that up and do some supremacy. You need like five or ten kills or something, a match, including eliminations or whatever. Honestly, it's the best way to do it. 
and it's so free. It's just so easy. So all I was doing is getting gameplay with this little setup and every match I would complete the trials bounty for the platinum medal back and forth. PvP match tower, collect same bounty, PvP match tower. And then once I had three platinum medals, I'll go back to the tower and hand them in to get a better roll on the scout rifle. This particular one was the best one and the main one I used and I felt was the best by far. And that is paired with Cascade Point Extended Mag Zen Moment, which of course Zen Moment really helps with the buff it received and the unflinching. It feels very nice. You actually feel it. And you know, I said it before, it's not the most kill you know endless killing rampage you're not going to get a seventh column with this method i don't think you know it's one of those things where you get a kill switch get a kill switch get a kill over and over again and you sort of make a little game out of it and to be fair ever since i started doing this i've had some really good games so the clips don't really come off as that flattering to be honest i don't get a kill and then another kill and it goes on and on and on there's 10 or 11 kills no but to get rewarded with the smallest window of one of the highest time to kills you could possibly get it's insane. It's very fun and makes it very rewarding. One of the main things I found that helps a lot here is, of course, if you pull off a few kills and go back to the SMG, your scout rifle needs to be reloaded. And that's not too helpful if you're going for the speed and running around sort of thing, you know, rushing in. So I found that throwing on three strand holsters for your legs helps tremendously, sparing you from reloading your scout rifle and being able to freely get an SMG kill, switch to scout, get a kill and switch back once again. I'm a big fan, can you tell? Such a fan, in fact, that I thought, why not stream myself using this loadout in trials to try and get flawless? Due to the map it was on, I've also switched between the Glacioclasm Fusion Rifle instead of the SMG, so I basically used both of them in this run, but here are the highlights from that. The rate of fire, I couldn't keep that still. Oh, it kind of works. Thank you for the applause. Oh, thank you so much. I definitely deserve it too. That's kind of a cascade point moment. There you go. I'm not giving up. Floating Warlock. Yes, Cascade Point. Thank you for working. Every now and then it does work. No. I saw that sniper gleam. Or glint. Or a trade. Pima, I gotcha. Cascade Point. Somewhere. Where are your teammate or enemy person? Never mind. We've both hesitated here. <laughs> God. Yes. Cascade point moment. Yes, and we stopped the well. <laughs> oh, Maverick, yo. Thank you for the sub, my friend. Cascade point. Oh, God. Is that a Bacchus? It is a Bacchus. Give me Cascade Point. Ugh. One more. Mush. The most stonk of aims, honestly. No. Bollocks. <laughs> Cascade was so short. I need to be at my aim game. Because this is basically, I'm putting this in the video. Because usually when I make a video about a weapon, because it's, there's some degree of clickbait to it. Of like, you, you're making it sound like it's interesting. You can't say like, oh, this weapon's, um, this weapon's kind of okay sometimes. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, it's, it's epic. It's camel sound, you know. Minecraft llama sound effect. Wait. Nope, that's not my be fine we'll be fine no i've never mind it's a fireball grenade it trapped me to hell i'm just trying to get clips to be honest and prove that it could do something substantial even in like trials when i don't have anything to go for those engrams the main thing they literally are is is like essentially shards like tokens for shards cascade point come on
Perfect. It's just what you want. You know, I kind of need to do that anyway. That's fine. Oh! Oh my god, I can't believe I dodged that. Do I still have my mercy? Okay, I do. Oh, no, not my mercy. I mean, like, you know, it's not alert. It's not crossed out. Oh god. Oh god. Possible cascade point. What the hell? I thought my punch counted. Cascade point. Oh, never mind. They exploded. <laughs> All right. Yeah, at least I used cascade point once in this match. The Jotun is going. They are prepared with the yeet. Huge! Is that flawless? Is that it? Is it with the cascade point? Is the cascade point flawless? Come on. It can never truly be like only cascade point, but you know, it's flawless. Still ran with it. We got a good amount of kills on the run with cascade. It's the lighthouse, baby! This calls for celebration. Where is it? Where's celebration? It has to be Llama 2. Yes. There we go! It's a Massive! It, 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 it. Oh, I did one extra, never mind. Bollocks. It's fine, doesn't matter. The lighthouse achieved, damn it. You. Hello, Saint. I, I, I say kind of went flawless with the cat with Cascade Point. It, it half counted at least. I got a few kills of it. It's not like I did nothing. I, I, I did a little bit. I'm not, I'm not open this now. Thanks for the shards in advance. Huge. Damn, a titan mark. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Slick draw. Reload bars work at all? But I've got another roll that I've got. I'm chuffed with. I've got from another week. Wait, where is it? This one. It's it, like they kind of look different, you know. But look, this got this has got a depth draw time. This is what you want on a hand cannon, you know. It's rare, and it's a gut shot of perfect float. It's everything you could need. Sensational. And speaking of sensational, you are exactly that if you've made it this far on the video. And listen, leave a comment saying the word sensational and I'll heart your comment. That's a promise, damn it. Thank you all very much for watching. I love all of your faces. And as always, until next time, take care.